Yo, big welcome back, my motherfucking fiends. I'm a crazy motherfucker. I chose to go second with a labyrinth. I'm back with labyrinth. What? Hence the big welcome. Let's put this 2x, motherfucker. Yes, we got dual level 20 slash dual level max in this tournament. But as you can see, I modified it based off of that guy that topped what last year with going second labyrinth. Uh, they get rid of my Barone. I'm like, oh, that's kind of scary, right? Why the fuck would they get rid of Barone? And why are you even running Barone? It's because of this hoppier synchro. Don't worry. You'll see it in a second. I'll explain everything in all due time, my friends. And it's also good if you have a trap trick that's activatable on your opponent's turn and they're playing Snake Eyes, or any deck really, you could wait until they Nightmare Phoenix or SP Little Knight here. So you could chain your trap trick to it so you don't have to, you know, prematurely use the trap effect. Obviously, it doesn't work if you don't have a trap trick, but, you know, a little tip with trap trick. So now is the best part. When is the... You know, when should I flip over to remove a Karma Cannon? I could have grabbed Big Welcome and did Big Welcome plays instead. But nah, I want to do my Synchro shit. Uh, flip all that shit face down. Yes, I could have let them revive something. I don't know what they would have revived with Princess. I probably could have let them do that just to have a full board. But th this was fine. Um, I said stop right here, Citizen. Uh, so I banished my own Arias. Strange. Here's where Hoppier comes in a, into play. I could target uh, a monster and then Synchro... Um, uh, with those two monsters, so it will always be into XL Synchro Stardust Dragon. So essentially, we're always going to use Hot Beer in a level six. We have a lot of level sixes besides um, Druid Swarm, you know, Bistials. We also have Arias, but here um, XL will let you revive a card. And I also didn't know about that interaction. Um, it re when a card's flipped face down, it still remembers that it was special summoned. Holy fuck! So they just lost Flamberge. I got full value off that Druid Swarm. Revive Hot Beer because that's what Stardust does. The second effect lets me tribute this, bring out Stardust immediately synchro summon in, in its effect and normally you'd be like well you don't have barone de floor that's the dedicated level 10 that you want to go into no 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 have you read satellite warrior <laughs> so essentially i get to pop based off of the number of stardust cards in my grave uh i count two so it is almost always a tour <laughs> you always almost always pop two unless they have a chain or something i purposely didn't pick the level ones because i figured they're going to chain link Karibu to it they did that anyway my opponent set sinful spoils earlier this turn and they're a fucking moron as you guys are about to see why game bug why game bug uh game bug because uh have you read xl synchro stardust dragon uh it makes it a towers for that turn only so uh, unaffected by activated effects so it I'm affected again. I'm not at towers anymore in my turn, but that's fine. And I top deck into the best top deck, which is this Rescue Ace Impulse, which I will explain later in a replay when that comes up. But essentially, we don't even use it for this first effect. But because of that, we completely cut them out of doing Link Rebo stuff. So they take the full brunt of that damage there, of that 42, you know, minus uh, 45 minus 3 is 42. And I, I just hope and pray, you know, they do something to trigger my impulse so I could bring out a fire attacker and potentially draw to. But they're salty as fuck, and I don't know why they didn't surrender before, but hey, uh, <laughs> that's Gucci with me, motherfucker. Let's keep this train a moving. Choo choo! Okay, this time my opponent made me go first. Uh, so they're going second deck, which, of all going second decks that I've ever played, which is a lot on this channel, please check it out, you know, between Lair, Darkness, Pride of Plants, Kashtira, etc. Um, Infernoids. <laughs> Uh, this is fine. This deck could straight up go first. That's usually not an issue. Um, so it's just a matter of what I want to draw into, right? They think this is like more or less a normal deck. Well, actually, I don't know what was revealed. Yeah, the Rescue Ace may, might make them scratch their fucking head. Like, what, what's going on here? But maybe not too much concern, right? So set two, pass. Imperm is a love-hate relationship. It's, it's good in this meta. It's, it's another question if it's good in Labyrinth at the moment. So this is an almighty game. This is spicy. We're going against Ancient Gear. So shout out to Hoxinator. Please uh, subscribe and check out my friend's channel. He is the Ancient Gear guru. He uh, even fucking, um, what's his name? Hard Like Joe has checked out his content. Um, so please give him like, comment, subscribe. Tell him I sent you. And uh, I had him in this call. I'm like, dude, what do I do? And he kept going, um, um. And I'm like, well, I got to hit the link too or something, right, motherfucker? Like, what do I do? And pop that tanker because we want to try to prevent them from popping um the field spell so here I'm like, okay well i could cycle through a lot of stuff i could revive everything i have lady um and i have hop ear still right i have hop ear still and here i imperm and some friends of mine in the call you know shout out to shimune check his content out as well uh he was like well, why would you do this oh i need to chain this imperm now even though it's not gonna be useful so i could chain my lady uh effect um which is right here 
uh, because I have, uh, you know, Daruma Karma Cannon here. And here they go Ancient Gear Ballista, which we knew, right? That's a link to, that's one of their choke points. But here, I big welcome because we have the transaction engrave. So I knew about that. I was going to grab clock, bounce clock to hand. So now this uh, Daruma is live. the point of the rescue way stuff by the way is to bring that out draw to discard one usually for a transaction or furniture or something so now we have a live destructive daruma karma cannon and we have an xl uh stardust dragon here synchroing up climbing up the same combo now into the brown to floor that you guys recognize i figured this would be potentially more impactful i don't think i could have popped stuff I, I i don't know what i could have done honestly but here they try to hit the back growth sp so i just hit negate and then they banished my furniture, which is thank you, because I could have took a lot more damage there, I think, with that card on the fucking field. Uh, <laughs> you might consider that a potential misplay, having that on the field in the first place. So here I just do uh, the, whatever you call that, the Dur Destructive Rubo Karma Cannon. I feel like that's a good point. They could still fusion um, uh, because they're able to get into their Ancient Gear um, Golem. And so it's all about Giant, and then Giant has one attack, but it could attack all monsters you, you control, right? So that's it. So it can't attack directly. So I live. And I didn't know that. I was like, dude, what the fuck? I fucking die. And, then, you know, uh, Hoxlander is like, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. I think you're fine, though. I think you live. You did the math. I'm like, you're goddamn right. I lived. So they might have helped me on the last turn. I mean, more or less saying, um, um, when I had like six seconds left on the fucking clock. But that's okay. That's okay. I got this. Daddy's got this. This, this game is back in the bag, baby. So get rid of that SP uh, night effect right away. Because now we could bounce uh, furniture, do some Ku Klux uh, shenanigans. So now we could welcome Labyrinth, pop the SP. We don't have to deal with SP for the rest of the game. Pop the other one because of lovely effect. Um, and then bring out our, our welcome Labyrinth. And it's synchro into Chaos Angel. They're clear their fucking board. Um, I don't even know if I had enough time to fucking attack. Or I couldn't because of SP. Or I don't fucking know. Uh, <laughs> I was so low on time. I just sent it back to them. I have a welcome labyrinth and the uh labyrinth labyrinth field spell so i was gonna pop a lot of fucking shit on their turn and they ran out of gas so that was a very skillful match let's uh go on to the next one okay so hate to see the maxi but don't worry it did not come up in this game that was their only special summon because we're going against we control baby so that was it so it's just a matter of baiting out these effects for electric jellyfish um, I did that on purpose because they can only do one negate per turn or maybe not. It might not be once per turn, but, uh, yeah, once per turn. So I don't care if they got rid of the, uh, stove there. Cause I was able to banish it and get uh rollback engrave, which is what I really wanted to do. And now I have this card. So that forces them to do that. So I could send, um, their, uh, Daedalus, um, off of a Druid's worm. I'm like, okay, I'm fine. Right. I'm in a very heavy control format. Uh, or, you know, game state, but this is fine because I have a destructive Daruma Karma Cannon, baby. They get rid of that. Perfect. They give me prime opportunity. So now they don't have that monster negate. Get rid of this other brick. There's two bricks in this deck. It is Rescue Ace Fire Attacker and then Lovely. Lovely is the same. This is also the same if you play Rescue Ace. So it's really fucking frustrating when you go into those. But hey, Daruma Cannon, one of the best normal traps. We get rid of their token and their synchro options. So fuck you. Fuck your mother. Um... Here, they can't negate traps. They're going to do uh, monsters and uh, spells. We have just enough attack to beat over their Ice Jade there. 4,000 is nothing for a G. Hit them direct with Lovely. Now we can start Lovely reviving. They don't have their monster negate. Set to pass. What are you going to do in this game state? What the fuck are you going to do? Exactly. That's what I thought, bitch. Uh, <laughs> Under the sea. I'm going to make it rain. On your mama. Shout out to Denzel Curry, if you know that song. I'ma make it rain. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's put this at 2x. And let's see, how do I dismantle going second against uh, this nonsense? So th this might have been a going second Horus deck regardless. So, you know, they might not have been wanting to be in this position. But we all know, hey, Arias is amazing. We're able to get... You know, Ariana out, we're able to have clock and furniture. So when we open clock and furniture, we usually win. Furniture, I run all four, but sometimes that's still not enough. Uh, they have the talent, so they drew another two into trade-in. So they draw some more, and now they start bringing out this shit. Um, okay. 
Well, I'm pretty sure I have a big welcome in grave. This is why we use that. Don't want to let them get that. They are able to trigger their hoppy, but at least I'm able to pop. So I'm just, I can't pop this because of the uh, sarcophagus since it's non-targeting. So I have to pop the sarc first. Now I'm free to pop kind of whatever on their board. But it's still not, you know, super ideal because I see my opponent drawing like a motherfucker. Well, good thing I also got the one of Magnumut. That, oh my goodness. And they targeted us. I was like, please target instead. Yes! <laughs> End your turn. Oh my god, that was so fucking lucky. So that's one less Msetti to deal with. But they still, I'm pretty sure they have that trap. Which is crazy. I didn't know it's not a once per turn. As you guys are about to see right here. So they bring out Duamatef. Holy fuck. Uh, let me revive this. Let's go right into Chaos Angel. Get rid of that Duamatef. And then send Druus Worm. I did it in that order because I figured if they're going to revive again... I don't mind them getting a, a hoppy effect off. I just don't want them to get in Duamatef. I mean, Duamatef would have been fine, I guess. It's more or less the same thing. Um, my goal here now is to st just start popping their stuff indiscriminately. Wow, that evenly. Didn't really matter in this instance because I was going to pop one of these other ones. So I got baited there. But if you guys could count, 2 plus 8 is still fucking 10. So I'm going to be able to get another Chaos Angel. This is why you run at least 2 Chaos Angel. And last time I checked, that is game, baby. Uh, so, <laughs> did you ever see Labyrinth OTK Horus level 8 spam? That is insane. Okay, this is one of the god hands. We have Hop Ear, we have Rescue Ace Impulse, so we just need them to activate an effect on the field. <gasps> they did. <laughs> no response. Oh my god, my goalie player thought they had the best thing. Oh, I'm going first. They let me go first. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. You fell for my trap. So, did I draw with that shit? No. I don't even think they triggered that. Which is fine. All we need is for the Hoppier Squadron, baby. Uh, woo! Get the big welcome, and now we have rollback and this engraved for follow-up. And now we're able to synchro, because I know they're not going to add anything to hand. They have exactly two monsters on board. Can you guess what I'm going into with this Excel Stardust line? You called it Satellite Warrior Pop 2. Get the fuck out of my game. I'm sorry. Goaty's a base deck, but it, you can't bring that shit against me, son. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know he was screaming his name. What the hell? Okay, you guys will see in some of these versions I have Labyrinth, Labyrinth. Uh, my opponent immediately fucking passed, by the way, because they thought I was Makanko or some bullshit. Or Ubel, right? Because Ubel could struggle. Um, so I'm like, okay. Well, it's more or less like I just chose first with Labyrinth, except I did a little bit of extra damage. And I have a little bit of board presence, right, with the Labyrinth, Labyrinth. Uh, my opponent's in hell. Uh, they max see me. Okay, let's play, bitch. Let's play. So I immediately Ku Klux so I could get my Magnemoot out before uh, they get an extra draw from that. They add something perfect with the rescue ace, so now I'm going to draw two minus one. Get rid of the furniture. We don't need it. But hey, Lady's fantastic. Lady is so good right now. And again, I'm under max seed, not them. They max seed me on their turn. Crazy, right? Normally, I'd be mauled in, but I'm like, no, I actually have game. Like, I straight up have game. Um, so between uh, the Black Oat Laughs tra and Trap Trick and Lady... Um, we'll, we'll, oof, 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 oof. So we're going to bring out Lady... So just so I could do uh, Black Oat Laughs and call Transcode, because that's the big choke bone, right? I'm not even going to let you summon that, right? Essentially, it locks them out of a specific card from the extra deck, which sometimes is just straight up better than D-Barrier. Um, I could have revived, I think, uh, Chandelure with that, but there was no point. Um, Chandelure. <laughs> Shang Shangri-La, whatever. Chandelure to my Pokemon peeps. But because I coot clocked this turn, I could activate this big welcome, as my opponent is about to learn. I... Pop their uh, Link 3 there, and now I get a second pop. They're going to call by Shang Drangle, whatever, bro. That's fine. I don't care about that call by. There goes your Parallel X Seed. Of course, they had that in their hand. And they thought they were slick. They're like, aha, I have my math mix stuff. You might have, you know, got rid of my whatever. I'm like, nah, bro, you normal summoned. Have fun linking with two cards and exiting with two cards face down, bitch. Uh <laughs> and they max seed me. They have like 20 fucking cards in their hand. And you lost. You lost. You look stupid. Yes, that is right. We have another pretty decent hand if we're able to uh, resolve Rescue Ace Impulse here, which we might if this is Cash Tira. Not a fun choice to, you know, choose to go second against, or I guess they chose to go first, whatever. More or less the same thing. But at least we're able to draw two minus one. Okay, we fixed our hand a little bit. Let's see what they get. Please don't hit Lovely. 
Okay, so now I have to play the game without Lovely, because uh, they banished that with Ogre. Um, feels really bad, because obviously that's a one of. You're clinically insane if you want to run more than one of that. So here I started doing all my graveyard effects, uh, because I know they're going to go into Rise Heart. <laughs> I just know. Um, and what did they banish off of that? They banished, get out of my screen, uh, Welcome, Hoppier, Prosby. It's not the worst, but I don't really like it. But hey, it is what it is. And we still have uh, Druus Worm here. Um, I have to play this super carefully. I'm like, how the fuck am I? Oh, man, I think I was on the phone with my girlfriend too. I'm like trying to be a good boyfriend and play this game out. People don't understand the struggle. Uh, <laughs> uh, so it kind of did the same thing here because they're just going to revive uh, with prep back to whatever. So it's like more or less the same thing. It's fine. I wanted to get value off the Druus Worm, but it is what it is. Um, at least I'm able to get rid of the Arise Heart. And uh, they get rid of Typhon, which was a mistake, and they get rid of SP, which was a double mistake. Those are two – they should have got rid of the Fire Attacker. Um, I don't know. They could get rid of Typhon with Fenrir on their turn, so that was a huge misplay. And, yes, now you have all these Cashier cards, but I have fucking Daruma Karmic added, so f flip fucking however many down. And they're like, well, that's fine. I could flip two more up because they, they weren't summoned this turn. I'm like, Okay. That's fine. Activate prep. That's fine. I'll chain the lady because you're not going to knock anything on my hand, bitch. Also, uh, here's the second destructive Daruma Karma Cannon. <laughs> flip, what is this, six? <laughs> six, six was flip, flip nine flip face down. Uh, suck my dick. Uh, <laughs> uh, this was a mistake. Ignore this Magnum. I'm just trolling. I was supposed to bring out uh, Ariana regardless so I could revive. Um, welcome. Ariana, grab clock. Again, don't need the field spell. Uh, regular welcome, chain lady for imperm, so I can control the board state. Going to chaos angel, banish out. That's right, thick birth, and then link into muckraker. So I, this also why I didn't want to bring out the uh, magnamute, uh, and also, uh, yeah, that's also the main reason why I needed fodder to bring out chaos angel again. Get rid of it. It is not a once per turn with the uh, banish effect. So banish two, beat over three. Those are the three best ones I think that I could have done. I'm glad. So. They, don't, they can't revive with Preparation or Birth, and I got rid of Unicorn, Fenrir, and Scareclaw. They hard summon their Unicorn. Go ahead. You know what I searched off of Lady and Trigger Lady again. <laughs> the, my opponent is in the hole. They're in the rabbit hole. They're in the, <laughs> they're in the rabbit hole. They're trying to dig their way out. There's no way out, motherfucker. Also, uh, oh yeah, Chaos Angel would have activated because I, it wasn't Synchro Summon. Anyway, uh, it, uh, did you know <laughs> uh, Fire Attacker triggers when I bounce a card to their hand, motherfucker? So that's why I now have Transaction Engrave and a Maxi. This is Jover. This is so beyond fucking Jover. Like, so beyond fucking Jover. Big welcome. That's fine. I, I didn't need to do all this. I was just going to lose my cards. Now. I thought I could Muckraker. It's always weird with what you could protect. A new fire t attacker was gone. That's fine. Didn't need to bring Lady to my hand. She can't be destroyed by card effects anyway with set cards. Literally no point. It doesn't matter. My opponent's bad and mad and salty. I probably could have killed him this turn with any number of ways. Probably reviving, you know, Chaos Angels. So, GG next. I beat Cash Tira going second under Arya's heart, motherfucker. And on the phone with my girlfriend, being an active listener. Beat that. Okay, so this should be a quick one for you guys. 60 cart pile, Horus, you know, turbo zombie vampire pile, fuck your mother. They send the Havness. Magnamoot. Sometimes, that's just all you fucking need, baby. Uh, <laughs> I won the game, hands down, because of that. They get rid of Magnamoot. Link it to Appaloosa. They have three monster negates. That is fine with me. I'm able to search out Drew's Worm. Draw one. Pretty good draw, too. Uh, so I'm going to activate that right away. Oh, did you chain Appaloosa? You fucking idiot. You know I searched out the Drew's Worm. A uh, goodbye. And I have Lady. So now <laughs> they can't chain it. It's only once per chain. Wh what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And I'm also just going to bring out Pot of Prosby. Uh, what do I have here? Oh my god, it's a clock. Set these two. Now I could both activate this turn. Beat over that. Ku clock. Uh, normally, if I didn't prosper, I would have been able to kill them, but obviously I needed the prosper for the clock. So you guys know what happens from here. It was Jover.
I know what you guys are thinking. Oh my god, Sangramos, but like those are like meta decks. Like let's see you play against stun because I went against nothing but stun in, in this uh you know duelist cup. Don't worry. I got you. And I chose to go second. Cause I'm fucking crazy against stun, against Majesty's Fiend Turbo. It's such a shame what they're doing to my boy Majesty's. I love him, but it, it, Runic is just unimaginative with their stun. It's stupid as fuck. Just ban this fucking field spell. We don't want to see Runic stun ever again. Just use it as instant fusion. Okay, ran over. <laughs> the way that God intended to use uh, the Runic cards. Uh, they banished four. Uh, I would have liked probably each of those four, but that's um that's all right. As long as they don't banish my lovely, I think I should be fine. But here, I'm able to just big welcome grave effect, bounces matches his fiend. Now I could use Fex. They triggered Tyrant's tirade, this crazy motherfucker. Holy shit, I have never seen this resolve ever in, in, in my life. Okay, so there I chain Black Oak Labs. It doesn't matter against this opponent. Uh, I just call whatever to special summon just so I could chain regular welcome to this because I know I'm going to need that to bring out lovely and win this game into wall of revealing light okay they took almost as much damage anyway that I was going to hit them with um, they should have just done 3k to so 4k but you know what my opponent's an overachiever and because of that they get reward and banish lovely so now I'm struggling how am I going to pop that they pop the fucking imperm and they banish more cards okay I have no tears over maxi that's a little fucking scary with the uh, the Morgan Knight, right? But I know I could game him next turn. I literally know I could game him next turn. They don't have any more negates. They don't have any more floodgates to stop me from activating my effects besides Tyrant tr uh, Trunade or whatever, Tyrade. So I bring out um, Ariana because I still have another Welcome Engrave. That's why I did that. Bounce that one. They go into Rivalry. You fucking moron. I'm playing, La I'm playing Labyrinth. I don't care about Rivalry. We run Rivalry sometimes. <laughs> So here, uh, could you guys say Chaos Angel? Because that's how the fuck I was going to win. Like, you know, sure, I had the field spell. This is a kind of a, uh, a win more card. You don't, please don't run this. Anyway, uh, uh, fuck your mother. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, fuck's done, huh? Uh, I guess they're having one more bad day. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, we have another decent hand. Again, love hate relationship with Imperm. If you play it, I understand. If you don't, I also understand. Um, my opponent's scaring the fuck out of me with this. Uh, oh, this is Sky Striker. Okay, and they pass because I ma I think I made them go first. So they were like, well, this wasn't how it was. Was I would maul too. Whenever I play a going second deck and they make me go first, I fucking maul. With the exception of this deck, because it's still Labyrinth and we can still play going first. Uh, if I, am I talking too fast? I'm sure I was talking too fast this whole time. Keep up. Um, so this looks relatively innocuous, you know, like, why would I do that? You know, um, you know, uh, do this, you know, big welcome bounce. I'm going to pop. I know that's going to trigger out their sky striker. That's fine. And I figured they're going to do that. So I was going to trigger Arias. Uh oh, uh oh, that's a lot more damage on board. Uh oh, <laughs> Um, okay. Anyway, let's furniture because I Ku clock this turn. It's all part of the plan, dog. That was the OTK. Have you ever seen anybody OTK Sky Striker? <laughs> P73, more like P Diddy. Oh, oh, oh. Lock him up. All right. I made my opponent go first and they set three and passed. Okay. I'm going to feign the evenly. They're going to do not a goddamn thing about that motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> Here we're going to start popping. Just start popping shit. Get that evenly, or excuse me, uh, imperm out of the way. That's fine. More or less like popping one on the field, I guess. Hero. Oh, wait, no. This is Ancient Gear. Oh, my God. You guys are in for a treat. I am now one for one with Ancient Gear. Can I be two for two? Here, I just, uh, I think I called the uh, Link 2. Yeah, I call the link too. I think argument could made could could have been made for the uh, fusion, but that's fine. Again, shout out to Hoxinator. He wasn't watching this, so this will be a surprise to him. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to him and me too, motherfucker. Don't subscribe to him and not subscribe to me. Subscribe to both of us. Prosperity. Again, remember what I said when I taught you guys about trap trick on your opponent's turn. Sometimes it's nice to just wait until they have something to bait it out. And now we have Daruma, and my opponent is probably in a little bit of a pickle, so they're gonna try to bait out my Daruma with access code. Okay, you worked. I'm going to flip everything face down, get rid of the access code, right? Because they're going to pop my shit anyway. You have to do it right on someone. You have to have your chain on or else you're going to lose that. <laughs> so, my... <laughs> Can you guys see what's wrong here with that fusion? 
they need an ancient gear uh, fusion on the field to uh, bring this out. By the way, uh, so by using ancient gear on your field, or was it, or graveyard as material? Oh wait, yeah, using ancient gear golem you control. Yeah, so that was GG, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> I'm two for two now. I played that perfectly. And you're right, man. GG, man. Oh, my goodness. I couldn't believe I, lo I won that last one. That was fucking cracked. Am I right? <laughs> I'm two for two against that. I can't believe my opponent face palm so hard and threw that game. You need an engine gear on the field to do that. That's incredible. Anyway, Maxi into... I'm just doing all my effects right now before they're able to negate it with when they bring out low. So the normal low makes sense. Um... So Maxi might have kind of played a role. They played a little bit more tame, but they still have plenty of stuff to interact with on my turn. It is voiceless voice after all. They have an off-ramp to Maxi. Case in point, they have this guy. I don't run spells in my deck anymore, so it doesn't bother me. And I'm glad I had the Rescue's Impulse because then that forced them to get out the Skull Guardian. I'm like, oh, cool. I got their uh, Omni to get out, and this is GG, right? I have Furniture. I get rid of Transaction, and I have fucking Clock. Like, this is Joe... Ver motherfucker welcome ku clock bring out this this whatever you know bring a lovely you know transaction it, it, it was over i just had to i just had to show this beat down real quick i hit him like some tree toms so this is a game about patience yes i cut it in this pretty late they called by my rescue ace okay it looks like that's my only interaction besides these two left in my hand i just need to wait and bide my time to hit the right chance and banish whatever they have in Grave with Magnemon. Ah! Opportunity spotted. There's Pisty. And they're going to need Striker Dragon to revive. Chain Magnemoot, maybe. And that ends your turn. And gets me out of this game. <laughs> and I had follow-up. I had mad follow-up, too. They weren't going to be able to go into a link five. Uh, yeah. Uh, paciencia. Paci pa paciencia. Uh, patience, motherfucker. All right. So this game was just a bunch of nonsense. Um... I guess my opponent bricked. They couldn't find their way into Bell. They might have just been bad. Whatever. Drew's Worm. Get over that. So now I don't have any triggers in Grave. They're going to link off with that. That is fine. I have Drew's Worm. And they're going to get rid of my rollback. Yes! They fell for the bait. Holy shit. We are in this game. All right. Back to a neutral state. And I have Daruma, which is pretty good against Bell. It's pretty solid. Uh, I'm getting a little scared now. Okay. Okay, uh, but they're linking. They're not going right into this. I, I would think they would want a motherfucking Ubel on the field, but they keep. It's like they're trying to link or synchro. I don't know, man. Get fucking Daruma. Get punished beyond so hard. That was one of like the most maximum uses of that card. Now I bring out uh, <laughs> uh, Lady, and I'm able to synchro into Barone, and just instant negate that. That's fine, because uh, I figured I could either do Barone revive effect or start popping stuff. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So we'll pop that continuous, beat over this one. Relatively interesting board state, but aha, I'm going to Muckraker. I'm going to revive. Bring out Lady. Um, yeah, because I couldn't revive Lovely. <laughs> that was actually, I threw so hard there, but that's fine. <laughs> we could try to Muckraker again. <laughs> I don't get punished at all for that, right? And here is where I do get punished, because I had Gamma. If I would have just attacked them. Assuming they didn't have a U-Bow in hand, I would have just fucking killed them. So I have the Muckraker to protect myself, and I beat over these guys. Yeah, okay. A um, little scary. Do I have Big Welcome in Grave, at least? I do not. I do not. Uh, but they whiff again. Uh, so uh, we're fucking chilling, bro. We're chilling, dog. And I summon out Impulse. And they do have the U-Bow. Ah. So I don't know when they got that one. And I trigger my Rescue Ace, and they have Ash. I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, now at least I do get to revive the Daruma, and I'm able to Daruma and chain Lady, uh, hopefully, so it's just a matter of when I want to do that. Here, because uh, I need a face-up card to destroy. So now I'm able to chain Lady, now we're into the engine of the big welcome, and that was GG. <laughs> God, I love Master Duel. And this is going to be a long video, I accepted that fact, let's keep fucking going. Again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you like this Mona Lisa Da Vinci fucking gameplay. Artiste Pablo Picasso. All right, you know what it is. You, Bell. Let's just get that furniture out of our hand with the uh, Black Oat Laughs. Um, so we could 
prevent banish or prevent some type of effects that turn, which we do because they do have Sandstar D Lotus, so that's the perfect one to hit him with because it's not a quick effect. Get fucked, idiot. Um, so now they're going to try to go into Phantom U of Ubel, I'm sure. No, 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 no. We're getting rid of that shit. They asked for Magnemoot, which was interesting because I know I have a big welcome, but I guess that's why they went to SB here. Banish my big welcome. Okay. Interesting game state. Okay, dark, the dark. This, we're getting spicy that you want to just hold on to the SP. Into muck, crazy motherfucker just to revive the Lotus to do what? <laughs> it wasn't negated. You can't even activate the effect, motherfucker. Um, so, Bloody Rose is bloody fucking stupid. Um, and we have it from here. I always attack the Muckraker first, by the way. Uh, <laughs> make him take the, the most damage as possible if they're going to tribute a card and keep it alive. Um, so now we're able to clear their monsters. Wow, they had Gamma. That was crazy. I figured they're not going to have a second one. So, start triggering all of our effects here. Yeah, I don't want you getting that Samstar Lotus off, buddy. Dude, you're, you're not getting this off. Um... Into draw to oh my god into oh, that would be insane if you had a target to tribute or destroy with this card. It's Jover. It's literally fucking Jover. And I know that that they have uh, gamma and stuff. So here I'm just gonna you know try to bait it out, see what I can do. Okay. I think this game is over. What 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 do you guys think? <laughs> no, you bet on hand. I had. I had stuff prepared for it anyway to get rid of it, so um G fucking Jizzle, I guess. Uh, do you guys want to see more you bell? <laughs> Alright, so ignore the fact that we bricked for a top a couple turns, I guess, and I'm guessing to attack directly in case they have that shitter in hand. Aha! I was very correct in my assumption there. I'm just gonna instantly hit um uh to this is this is not the graveyard effect, right? So Samsara D Lotus is okay. Um, for the graveyard banish effect, but here I'm just gonna hit Phantom of Your Bell, lock them out of that completely. Don't want to worry about people negating my monster effects. I kind of need them. Oh my god! Oh my god! Call by into oh what chain is this? <laughs> said ch chain link seven or whatever the fuck. They negate Maxi. I pop their Samsara. I don't know why they didn't decide to pop it themselves. Um, okay. They thought they got me with that Magnum boot on the. They always ma they always bist it on the clock. I it's still the clock uh, is activated. Like I could use clock anyway. Let me chain my own Magnum boot because only I could do that shit, motherfucker. Get out of my game. Okay. Uh, with that being said, drum roll into our finale. This is my promotion game to dual level match. I literally don't know why my labyrinth games are always so fucking long. Uh, but I don't give a fuck. Watch it or don't. Uh, fuck your mother, bitch. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, let's big welcome. They ash me. Cool, I'm going to chain. That's right. Arias, baby. Um, and stay tuned, guys. There's going to be a deck list after this, after I clap these uh, mathematic cybers cheeks here. So, and I, I, man, I played in like a fiddle. I was like, please have a response for my big welcome. You ashed me. I was never so happy to have my big welcome ashed because now we could go to the hoppier line. It's been a minute. It's been a minute in these replays. I know. I know. And can you guys count how many monsters they have on their board? Uh, yeah, that's two for Satellite Warrior. Also, I didn't read my opponent's card effect. Uh, they saved one, but that's fine. Uh, that ended their turn. So we're going to big welcome. Grab out regular welcome. So we have a, two uh, big welcomes in Grave. Bring out Lovely. Toss this motherfucker up. And because it was special summon off its own effect, it gets banished. Still leaves the field, so I trigger Lovely. Pop a card in their hand. Ooh, they're gonna, they were going to need that. They should have effect Valored. That was crazy. Or I think it's only during the main phase. Or, oh, get fucked. I played around effect Valor. I mean, I meant to do that on purpose. Uh, anyway, uh, Chaos Angel. Get rid of that one on the field. That was a red. My brother in Christ. Why did they not red reboot the regular welcome? What? <laughs> I... With that, that was uh, literally, what, 9,500? 9, over 9,000 damage right to the dome. They were salty. But, uh, yeah, let's get right into the deck list as quick as possible. Yep, here it is. Ignore whatever that says over there. Or you guys can see it, whatever. Um, so, uh, really quickly, 3 maxi, pretty obvious. Um, 
uh, one imperm. It's up to you to have one or none, like here. Um, and also potentially uh, go more into Trap Trick if you wanted. Initially, I had one Ariana, but I decided to have two. So now it actually is really good going first or second because you could trigger it off of Arias. Arias could discard itself during the main phase to special summon a Fiend from your hand or... Uh, or Labyrinth Monster, excuse me, or uh, set a trap that could be activated this turn. So it's powerful with all of these options here besides rollback. And I would potentially get rid of one rollback because you guys saw, I, even though I run all four furnitures that we can, I, I never fucking see this card. Um, it is what it is. <laughs> and one Ku Klok, I have a love-hate relationship with it in this deck, but you guys saw how it worked, right? It's really good to search off of Ariana if I had a search off of Lady, uh, a set trap off of Lady, etc., right? Um, and then uh, the Bissios are pretty straightforward to banish. They're really good against Ubel, against Saturion, against a lot of the meta, even Snake Eyes, as you guys saw. Um, uh, but it's especially good with Hoppier. Again, that's the Hoppier thing. We use Hoppier if we have Arias or Bissios up. We Hoppier into XL, XL Revive Hoppier, bring out Stardust into one of our level 10 options here. We could go into one of these, uh, and they're pretty good. You could also run Chaining if you want. That's what I do in my layer build, um, especially with uh, Bistials. That is an option if you want. We have the extra deck space for it. Um, if you're just Hoppiering with one of our level 8s, then it's going to have to be uh, Chaos Angel or Barone because you need the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, non-tuner synchro monster um, for satellite warrior and furniture are pretty straightforward here's the other spice rescue ace impulse right we want to kind of deep draw and try to get into their max seas into our hand traps our hop ears and rescue ace is also level six so it also enables that engine um really fun fun deck um and then the traps the literal best normal traps of the game big welcome we know what this does at this point regular welcome you could even run one if you wanted to um uh, but yeah, you could uh, run three trap trick if you wanted to. Totally fine. Two or three. Um, I do think I would definitely cut back onto one transaction rollback just because I wasn't seeing it with furniture. And you could run three black goat if you want. But again, not that much furniture, so I wasn't pitching as much. But black goat is a state like this. Put the deck to the next level. This is better than D Barry. If you're a good player and you know what your opponent is doing, you could always call a card that will be their choke point, and and pretty much always guarantee live a turn and then set up on your next following turn. So that's the main deck. That was the quick, as quick as I could do with our uh, lady boss monsters. You guys should know what they do. Pop and, and bring, revive a trap. Uh, set a trap from the deck directly. Can't be destroyed, etc. They enable uh, being able to use Big Welcome from gra Grave to banish a card. And when you uh, banish this and, and, excuse me, bounce a card to the hand, which could also trigger fire attacker, as you guys saw. And with the extra deck, um, I never went to Omega once. It is what it is. Um, well, I discussed Satellite Warrior to pop two off of the off of the combo. Three Chaos Angel now, I'm convinced it's really fucking good. And sometimes it does come up because you'll go Muckraker to, uh, you know, discard something, revive a fiend, which could be this, as you guys saw, Banish and OTK. Uh, Typhon came up sometimes. Zeus never came up. Uh, SP never came up. So our extra de deck space does not matter. You could find space for Chenying. That's fine. Uh, it's really great with the Bistils, like I mentioned. And then um, that, you know, I took out... What did I take out? I took out, uh, what, an Imperm? You could put in two Imperm. That's fine if you want for this one. If you feel like that kind of nombos, um, you know, with some of the stuff that you have here... I don't know. I, I think I think this deck is like perfectly fine as it is right now. You could uh, switch with Compulse as well. But um, anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This is a long video. I want to get this out. Please let me know what you guys think. Yes, this was uh, you know the duels cut, but this could easily hit Master. I've hit Master plenty of times with Labyrinth. This is that same level. It's still a Labyrinth deck. It has extra spice, and you could probably hit Master one too. So stay fiend, motherfuckers.